Hey, hey, Vox, when I tell you we start some mess today, what's up, Cowboys fans? We won't got time for no intro, we won't got time for nothing fancy. Vox is 10 minutes late, and it's this time it's on Vox. He is not gonna make me the bad guy. Foots, let me tell you something, sir. <laughs> you 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 look me in the eye and you said Foots the king. You look me in the eye, sir, and you was like, Vox, let's work at 10 30. I said my day. I mean, pardon me at at six at six thirty, and that's five thirty for me. So I set my day for the thirty, and you said, "All right, let's do the forty to be safe." <laughs> you can't say nothing to me because I'm trying to run the fifty, sir. I was ready for the thirty. I was good to go a long time ago, though. He's sick, bro. You know no. what? Have you been live this week, Watch? I have not been live this week, sir. Um, me and you would chat behind the scenes. But yeah. um, man, everything everything good to go. We uh we back. I was about to say April first, but we back Friday because me okay. and Broad is dropping the episode. But after that, April first is when everything kicks back up. And you go okay. Well, that's 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 um that's that's go talk. You gotta pay a little bit extra for that chat box, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I will let you, you know. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, I will let you know. But I yeah. Know. Yeah. You, you you see you see you see my my bro he come out of hibernation for me man, Vosh, how you doing bro? Man, life good, Fusty King. I can't complain about nothing. Okay. Even if I had some to complain about, it wouldn't make sense to complain about it. You know, um, everything good, man. This our this our time of year. This the thing that that we do, and I'm and I'm and I'm thankful that me and you have put in enough work to earn enough credibility and respect to where people can come and tap in with us. You know, it just feels good to be competitive. It feels good to be competent. It feels good to be well-informed. Um, and you know, it just, it just, it just feels good to be, to, you know, just for everything to be everything, you know what I'm saying? Even when it ain't, it, it is everything still, you know what I'm saying? So, man, you know me, I can't complain about nothing, brother Brad, you know me, man. Yeah. Nah, it's, um, um, it's, it's a blessing to even have this market, um, Vox, to, to be able to have this market and to be, you know, um, just to be able to talk talk draft. I want to talk a little team building with you, Vox, uh, for a second and, and what's going on around Cowboys fear. Because I kind of fear that what's happened is everybody has um, fallen into, I won't say groupthink, but it's like I, I feel that there's a lot of what's the word I'm looking for, Vox? But man, it's tough out there, though, for boy. For it's it's tough out there when you seeing all your rivals make moves and you not, and it's tough out there to you know just say that we're gonna lean on some draft picks and you know what I mean, like 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 I get it, but I said this today on uh, Bleach Report. I'm not just you, you, you just throwing stuff out there. And, and, moving, and, and moving forward, we're 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 gonna be doing a lot more work over there on Bleach Report. So shouts out to them for holding me down, but shouts out to them for holding down content creators, cowboy content creators. Shouts out to Bleach Report. But I was on Bleach Report saying this though, uh Foots, and I was like, um, all the players that we lost, I would say besides Tyron Smith, but there's a camp of, of of people that's upset about that too. All the players that we lost is all the I mean, they're they're rotational players or they're dead weight in general, you know what I'm saying. Um, we haven't made a move that's like, oh man, the 49ers let go of Armstead. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? We, we haven't made one of them yet. Um, so in my mind, the Cowboys haven't shown us this yet, Foots, but we have to rebuild, you know, the depth of the roster. We have to rebuild the role players. But besides that, we got all of our dudes, you know, all of our major players, are in tech and all those dudes lining up to play. Uh, we just need some of the miscellaneous players to make us feel good about losing out on, on our previous miscellaneous players. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be somebody. But, but, but Vash, what about Hankins? I love yeah. Hankins, man, but he was on the defense that, you know, gave up your rundown stuff. You know what I mean? And we're trying to get better at rundowns now. Hankins gone. Ain't nothing we can do about that. And I hope that we do something in the direction of trying to fix one tech in terms of run stopping or whatever, but uh, we'll leave that to Zim and we'll leave that to Mike and them. But, uh, you know, I'm not comfortable with the somebody got to step up, um, but okay. Okay. You know, hopefully, hopefully we can, we can sign somebody and somebody step up. If, if don't nobody step up for Yeah. Oh, we in some deep duty. If don't nobody step up. I'm sorry. My, my, my son just came down here. Can you go turn the light off for me, son? Thank you. Um, What's the king? Turn, time turn, time turn, turn the fan, turn the fan off. So look, so I'm time, 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 wait, wait, time, wait, wait, because I'm a man of nuance, right? Yeah. Your son, I was he around. Just did it. 
I was around when he came into the world. You mean to tell me that you speak He's English to him? And you He's give developed. Him we, we drafted him. We developed him. <laughs> <laughs> you mean to tell me? Hold on, Fush. You mean to tell me he ain't goo goo guy guy in? You giving him task? Hear what I said? And he right. looked at you and said, "I bet." <laughs> that was right. he, he. That old? He, how old is he? he he's three four now? now. He's four. Oh. Right, that's scary, right? And you know what's so crazy? He he up there playing marbles. I can hear him, and I'm like, I hope the audience can't hear it. I hope it's not too loud, but it's all good. We this what we do. Was I YouTube four years ago? Man, me and you was we we drafted and developed them, Vosh. Even you part of that development. That's that's the crazy thing. He knows your voice. It's crazy. I got a clip of him watching me and you talking draft. That's how long we've been in this. And now now that now that we got see this is why I had to get Vosh on because Vosh. Vacha give everybody a little bit of, he gives everybody clarity. Even me, the Vacha one of the few people that fuss, 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 fuss. Slow down, fuss. Calm down. This is great. But I've been fighting a lot, Vach. and here's why. Yes, sir. In in my way, in my own way. Yes, sir. Pull your notepad out. I mean, I got to write my shit. So Vach spent all last year talking about Tyler Biotish and how we need to get stronger in the interior, and the Cowboys let him go, and it was a catastrophe. And then Vach spent all last year. Um, talking about well, Dorrance is good, but if you really need pressure, you're still gonna have to get pressure from Micah Parsons. Um, and, and Dorrance, I mean, and, uh, and Demarcus Lawrence, and he's no longer a cowboy. Um, Vach really kind of talked about I, I'll give Vach his flowers in the sense of he was out front of Tyron Smith staying at left tackle because if nothing else, Tyron Smith is a Hall of Fame tackle, and today he's better than 21 year old Tyler Smith. Yeah. And I I argued it for a while, and me and you had some rough debates about advice. But at the end of the day, I say, you know what, you guys are right. I'm not. A, I'm okay with being like it I'm okay with giving me. in. It wasn't rough for me. <laughs> but but now he's no longer on the team. So what I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this, Vosh. The panic, and then obviously now we're at the DAC extension deal. Mm -hmm. And I think when we we everybody watching this channel right here, watching me, you, Vosh. And, and watching those guys, we should be smart enough to know, guys, the Cowboys are not going to let Dak Prescott hit free agency. It's not going to happen. They have a way that they do things. They don't talk contracts to Oxnard. They don't talk contracts until they're ready to. Right now, the Dallas Cowboys in that whole organization is focused on the NFL draft. Now, stop me when I'm wrong, Vox, but mm -hmm. right now they're not doing contracts for anybody. You better believe Steven, Jerry, the whole shebang, Will, they have numbers in mind when it comes to Dak, when it comes to CD, when it comes to Micah. All of this right here is really more or less off-season banter. Now, this is what's, what's part of my rant on Twitter, Vach, and I want you to jump in because we do got to get the draft talk, and these people are here for draft talk and some of the things that Mike McCarthy said. The truth of the matter is this. When you lost to Green Bay the way you lost to to yeah. them, yes, I knew, you knew, this offseason was going to be the wild, wild west. Yeah. It was going to be crazy. It was going to be get rid of players. It was going to be we need linebacker. We need, But I watched the film and said, around the Buffalo Bills game, I did have an issue with the way Dan Quinn was doing things. Mike McCarthy spoke today, spoke yesterday. There was a few strays in there when he was asked about Zimmer. I want everybody to go really listen. Yes. I'm going to send Vach a few clips, and when we really get to it, I want you guys to listen to what Mike McCarthy said. And I'm not even going to post the strays, but one thing that he said was how we deploy and how we defend the run. Yeah, we want to stop the run, but what bodies are we using to stop the run? That's what Zim does best. So all of these clouds are circling over the Cowboys. But again, it's off season. When you get smoked by the Packers, this is what happens. Vosh said it with, with Hankins. You lost with Hankins on the field. 
Stop. Am I wrong, Vach? Am I? Am I nah, wrong? nah, 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 nah. You ain't, you ain't lying at all. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna produce this highly produced show on the fly. But, but you ain't, you ain't wrong, man. And um, the, the, the one thing that, that you know, I'm, I'm doing now that I normally don't do, but I'm just gonna take your word for it. I don't listen to Mike McCarthy at all. Like he's one dude that's notorious for lying to us. He take numbers off jerseys during, during the, during the damn blue and white game. Plus he had us thinking Michael Mayer was a damn first round pick all last year. So I ain't gonna listen to him too much. But in terms of the actual football stuff. In terms of the Zimmer stuff, the no longer Dan stuff, the how to overcome this, the you know the roster change and the roster building and all that, I haven't listened to Mike McCarthy personally because the key word in vacation is vacate, and I ain't been doing nothing. But I'm willing, <laughs> I'm willing to 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 listen to what you got to say, sir. Okay, I'm gonna send you the clips, right? This is clip. And and so this is this is my deal right here, Raj. I'm not, I in no way, shape, or form, I. I, there was a there was a part of me, there was a part of Fuss that said, man, if you moved on from Mike, I would have been okay. Mm -hmm. But I understand why Dallas didn't because we can sit here and say that Dak, this, that, and the third, Dak had one of his best years under Mike McCarthy. Now, there are people out there who swear, and you said this a lot, okay, you can tell when Mike isn't his best. You can tell when Mike starts, and that's a fair criticism. You could tell when Mike's, when things start to get goofy with McCarthy, you could tell some things. But the one thing that I do like about Mike, at least he's honest when you ask him questions. Sure. One of the things he spoke about today, and I just sent you the um, one of the clips. Sure. One of the things he spoke about today was the draft process. And so before you cue the clip up, everybody is upset about free agency. Foots is not. But a lot of people are. I'm not saying that they shouldn't have signed a guy, but mm. I still, for the life of me, I wasn't. I'm not okay with giving Saquon Barkley twenty seven million dollars. Oh no, 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 no a linebacker for the middle of the money. You can find me a D lineman for the middle of the money. I understand what you're saying. And and listen, I'm not I'm not one to overpay Doris Armstrong and Dante Fowler, neither. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's just that I would love to see something. I will anything. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if 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 the move is all right, Bakhtiari, like JK Dobbins or something. I'm not mad at those names. And now I think um, those names may still come, Vox. One of those sure. names. Yeah. Sure, they might. I, it's just that at, at this point. Like, bro, I don't know what we doing at, at D line. I don't know what's about to happen. Well, you know, you know, um, um, Kendrick signed at linebacker, so that's something, right? I just got to know move. what's uh, fantastic, and, and we can talk about Kendrick's. I just, I just really want to know what's gonna happen with my offensive line and my running back situation, and and, and run and both of those are like draft picks. Also, I just want to know what 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 they're looking like from a veteran standpoint, and what bodies are we gonna throw at run stopping this year? That's all I want. So I, I got a clip for you. I got this clip for you, Fuzzy King. Let me let me, yeah, let me let's, let's pull this clip up and then I I, I kind of set up some of the nuggets and then we'll talk to Avach and then I'll let you go because I know you coming off of VK and I'm I don't want to hold you. I don't want to hold you too long, Vach, because I know good. you're hitting it hard. Next I'm, next week, you know, next week, Vach, this is when we really turn up, me and yeah. you. Yeah. So this, is, this that's gonna be crazy. Give me a um, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Well, let me move. Yeah, we, we got you. We got you. Because I'm uh, when, when, when not hear me, but hear Mike. One, two, three. Can you hear Mike? Nothing. You don't hear Mike McCarthy? No. Okay, cool. Talk to your people while I figure out Mike McCarthy. Now. Sure. So <laughs> Mike is at the at the coaches meetings um and, and where he was. Um well, curveball and... Joy, you weren't ready for this. <laughs> 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 oh, I got you for this whole way. I got you, sir. Vach always, uh, Vach always got something. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Vach. And and Mike said he was asked about Tyler Smith, and so it's almost like you know when your parents used to tell you, did you read the whole manual or did you read the cliff notes? Mm -hmm. You know when you taking a test, Vach, and your parents or your teachers say, did you really read the book? Are you reading to understand or are you just reading? To, to, to talk back to yourself or are you just reading, take the test and get a C? There's yeah. a difference between an A student and a C student. And yeah. so I listened to the whole Mike McCarthy interview. It was 30 minutes and, 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 and everybody ran with the headline, Tyler Smith is staying at guard. And see, 
think uh, so. There we go. You, you know, we, we don't know how this draft's going to fall. You mm-hmm. know, we, we, we could take, uh, you know, three defensive players in the first three rounds. I hope we don't, but, you know, it's, <laughs> you know, it, you, you got to trust this process and it's about rad, adding the right type of player to your locker room. So, I mean, you, you know, we. It's about run. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Vox. Yeah, you See, never got a lot of me, hey, big Vox, Vox you know what I mean, you know mean, mean to me? You know what I mean to me? If Michael Carter say we taking three guys on defense, we we taking three on offense. You hear what I'm talking about? <laughs> Running back, wide receiver, O line, loaded up right now. You gonna tell me Mike McCarthy just all of a sudden into telling the truth now? He he, I'm gonna tell you. you now go back. Hold, hold on, go. Did you get the other clip, Vox? I got the other. One. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let, let, hey, what's up, JC? See, see you. See, Vach a good producer. He, he, he in my head too. No, he, not, he too fast. I'm not a good producer. Here we go, <laughs> JC. Mike thank you. They, hold on, real quick. Let me get to this super chat, and then we'll get to Mike McCarthy. Thank you, JC. I see all the work you're doing. Shout out to you. Um, you, you killing it, man. Salute. This draft world is crazy, JC. Don't let them don't let them get you in them negative streets. We, we okay. Now, this is what I'm saying right here, Vach, and we are gonna fight. No, we're not really gonna fight, but Vach. I want to get you on record. Actually, you know what? This is what we'll do. This is what we'll do, Vacho. Play that last clip, and then I'll, I got a few questions for you. Because I can already see your temperament. We didn't already talked about the fan base. We didn't already talked about Dak. We're going to be fine. I know you guys. We let go of our whole team, and now we shouldn't play a season. It's okay. First thing about to set me up. Here we go. Second clip from Matt <laughs> McCarthy. Let's run it. We were right there. Keep Tyler Smith at guard. You just said that as as of today. I mean, yeah, we're, 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 let's let's get them. Let's get let's fill up the room and and then we'll you know then we'll then we'll look at it. Because I mean, the goal is always always to get the best five on the field. But you know, we we we've had this conversation every year since I've been here. It's false. <laughs> um, so when when does that occur? You know, I mean, just look at our training camp last year. You know, we didn't have the five starters practice together until the week of the first game. So. Um, it, it'd be nice to have all five of your guys that that you feel are going to be starters, you know, practice throughout April, May, June, and and and, 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 and through training camp, you know, because to me that's you know the cohesiveness of your offensive line, you know, you look at that statistically over the history of football, it equates to winning, you know. So, um, but you know, we we have better players that you know don't don't you know they're not going to work a lot in training camp. It's false. Okay, so th- let's stay here. So let's we, stay right there. Through that, uh, but we are, we you know, like I said, we took a big step last year with the youth I can't stand of, it, dude. of that of that group, and they'll be a little younger even again this year because you know hopefully with this um, this group offensive lineman coming in through the draft. I mean, it, it'd, be, it'd be. Hey, he say he say, look, we are gonna have some veteran players that ain't gonna work out, but got a whole bunch of young ones for the K. Like, like, he 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 don't he don't know you line. He don't know which he don't know which side he want to roll. You, you know what they say, hey chat box. You, you know what they say. Know. Hold on, stop! I know what he just said, Fuss. He was just saying, Fuss. Yeah, man, you know, I walked outside today and it was snowing, but damn, it was so hot, I started sweating. Now what he's saying, Fuss the King. Hey, you know, they say, they say you don't we choose. We're going to lean they, on vets and we're going to lean on some youngsters. Is that what he's saying, Fuss? They say you don't choose your friends, you recognize them. Shh. This dude, Vos, is crazy. See, this is what this is what me and Vos do during draft season. I'd be I'm damn. trying to get us, I'm trying to get us Jared Verse. I'm trying to get us Latu Latu. Because somehow, some way, one of these guys are going to fall. It happens every year. I'm looking across the screen from Vosh Lombardi, who's my brother in real life. We went to the draft in 2018. We killed it. We were there when they drafted LVE. We were doing content. I'm looking at Vosh, and it's the same dude who had C.D. Lamb high on his board. Sure did. And there was no way, there was no way C.D. Lamb was going to fall to the Cowboys. There was, there was no way possible. C.D. Lamb better than Jerry Judy. Is C. Lamb better than, than yeah, Henry Vash Ruggs? Knew. Of course. Vash knew. Vash knew. But Vach knew. Right. And guess what? C. Lamb is now the best receiver in NFL. Vach, I got a few questions for you right now. And I know I don't know if you have your tackle stack in front of you. What tackles? Oh, nah, he came strapped, y'all. He ain't playing. This is going to be a banger. I can already tell. Shout out to everybody in the chat box. Uh, Ratio, Jasmine. What's up, Jazz? JC, Frank. What's up, Frankly? My guy. Blake Garrett, everybody, man, King Marquis. We there's gonna be one. Vach is is Troy Fatanu better than Tyler Smith right now? Nah, nah. Okay, nah. okay, okay. We're gonna go through nothing. We're, we're gonna nothing. Go we're gonna Look, go Troy, this. Troy, Troy, Troy can't hoop better than uh Tyler. Troy can't play pickleball better than Tyler. 
He can't beat Tyler in a street fighter. Nah, 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 nah. Tyler better than him. But is he better than like, well, let's go or something? <laughs> is he better than, than Josh Ball and Austin Bridges and them? I don't even know if Josh on the team still. But yeah, he, he he better than them. Yeah, like Tyler is the best offensive lineman on your line. Well, okay, let, let, let's talk tackle. Let's talk tackle, Vach. Okay, cool. Is um, Amarius Mims better than Tyler Smith to tackle right now? Oh, so, okay. So we so we just talking about tackles, right? Yeah, because I'm about to. You know, I'm about. I'm walking you into something. You know, I'm walking. You know what Tyler, I'm about to do. Ty, Tyler Smith is better at tackle than all the tackles on this list, and he's better at guard than all the guards on this list. See, this is no, bro. We supposed to argue? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no What's no, up, fan no. talk? No, 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 no. We supposed to argue? Ty, Tyler Smith is a better tackle right now than Joe Altali. Because look, foot. How about this? Let's go. We said everything, right? When we was talking about Tyler Smith, and of course, you know, we all got draft reactions of where you draft somebody. But the one undeniable thing about Tyler Smith is that he was a powerful dude. He was an athletic dude. He pushed people off the film. And his only impediments were his hand technique. If he fixed his hand technique, Tyler Smith would daggum all pro. That's what we said, Fussy King. And lo and behold. So if you're telling me fixed hand Tyler Smith is what I get, He's a better tackle than Alt Fuaga. We, we can talk about Fuaga. Alt Fuaga, Fautanu, Fashionu. There's a lot of F's in here. Uh, Latham Mims and all of them. Tyler Guy and all of them characters. But if you put Tyler Smith at guard, he is also better uh, than J.C. Latham at guard. He's better than Graham Barton. He's better than Zach Frazier's center. But put him at center. He's better than Tyler Smith, better than all these cats. He's an mm -hmm. all-pro, Fister the King. He mm -hmm. is an all-pro. And these kids are question marks. So it ain't never is it Tyler versus somebody. It's can I find a tackle to where I don't have to start Austin Richards? Can I find a guard where I don't have to start TJ Bass at guard and put TJ Bass at center? Or can I find a center to where I don't have to make TJ Bass play center? TJ Bass can play guard. That's what it's all about. Tyler ain't got nothing to do with this. Tyler and Zach Martin are 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 locks to me. They locked to me. And man, I I wanted to fight. There ain't no fight, Bosh, but I, I keep forgetting that. We more aligned, and I think I guess I just been fighting everybody on Twitter because I think that's you 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 hit it out the park, Bosh. There's not a tackle in this draft who's I mean, if you now I, now I know you like Talise, and I, I like Talise as well. Mm -hmm. Um, Talise, Talise Fuaga, Fuaga, Talise, we I got that guy. I got that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, hey, hey, Bosh, this the all name draft. Me and you, me and, nah, Sky, nah, me nah, and you and Sky go struggle all oh, yeah, on draft night, bro. It's gonna be real. Uh, time out though, real fast. What up, Ron? What up, Brandon from Franklin Football? What up, JC? My fault. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, oh, all the man, all the OGs in here. We, everybody we, in there, appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, we lit. Um, they probably needed a Vox fix. We ain't seen you all week, sucker. So, this, this is my deal. Um, as we talk about the tackles, I, my, my biggest thing is. And now, now we can run the other Mike McCarthy clip is, Vach, I do not want to force a tackle on this football team. I think that's bad drafting. I think that in this draft where I now have six quarterbacks going in the top 15 picks, I book it. Six quarterbacks will go in the top 15 picks, Vach. Six of them. Six of them things. We've been doing this for how long, Vach? What do we always say? Push all them jokers up. Push mm -hmm. Michael Penix up. Yes, sir. Push, heck, push Spencer needs, Rattler up. I want, I want Spencer Rattler to go high. I don't know if it'll happen, but put. I want all these guys up there. You know what I mean? I, mm -hmm. I think Minnesota is going to trade into the top four. What scares me is the Patriots trying to bail. Mm. Um, but to me, get all of these guys in the top fifteen, right? And then we start talking about the run mm -hmm. on tackles, Vach. Yes, sir. We'll see Name a this. pick a team. They need a tackle. Tennessee needs a tackle. Uh, the Chargers could go tackle. They could go lineman. They may go Brock Bauer. Like pick a team that may trade out needs needs O line help. So this what is my, does that do, Vach? I, this, I, is my, this is my only ahead. issue, Fuzz. And, and you are an incredible draft analyst, sir. And this ain't no this ain't no compliment sandwich. I'm just letting you know you are an incredible draft analyst. And Talk you to know me. Every, you know everything comes with exceptions and caveats, sir. You know that. So, yeah, it's BPA, but you know need is involved. BPA and you know that need. BPA and need is involved, Foots, but you also know that politic in the board is something that, that makes sense, okay? 
you can't. So you, I don't want you looking me in the face because you love to do that. And man, you fought because it is. You can't look me in the face. What does force left tackle mean to you? For like, like what, what does that even mean? You force and left. Ain't no such thing as force and left tackle because offensive line in the league is horrific. Now, Butts, I know that you advocating for wide receiver in round one, but Vach is advocating for, hell, this group of wide receivers so good, I'd be mad if I let the draft not getting one. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and Brandon from Franklin Football, let me see. This tackle class is crazy deep. That's why I disagree, because draft politics get involved. If your tackle class is deep, it ain't going to be deep long. It ain't going to be deep past, what, 34, 35? Because offensive tackles go, Fusty King. So there's going to be a run on offensive tackles to where Jordan Morgan is yeah. going to be a first round of Fusty King. Do you, do you like him at Garvach? There's some people that tell like there, there's some people that, that, that want to move him to guard. Jordan Morgan is a is a tackle to me. But just to finish this point real fast, though, Flitz, think about this. And this is where 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 politics come. What stretches? What position stretches? Receiver. You, you want Keon Coleman in the first round. I'm doing backflips if I can get Leggett in the third, or if I can get Jalen Polk in the third, or if I can get Lab McConkey in the second, or if I can get Ricky Pearsall in the third, or if I can get Jermaine Burton in the fourth, right? So if you if you take offensive, ooh, tackle, I love Jermaine Burton. Me. I wish he wasn't. A, uh, humor me, Foots. If you, if you take an offensive tackle in the fourth, you get an Andrew Coker from 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 TCU. <laughs> you might want to roll with Josh. You might want to roll with Josh Bob over Lesko, man. That's my point, though, Foots. You I'm have watching, to poli- you you have to politic the board a little bit, man. We like we know what running back is gonna do. It's gonna be some gangsters in two, three, four, and five. Offensive okay. lineman, all your favorite dudes gonna run out right around the forty something mark, and we ain't gonna be there but one time. Okay, so Vach, we we we're in the draft room, and you spot on by the way. Just... Clap emoji for Vach. He was able to get on the soapbox. He he got one in on me. He won up. Now let's talk about interior for a second, because when I said when I said force a tackle, Vach, this is what I mean. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Because thank you, Sadika. Thank you, all y'all. So Vach, because right. Mm-hmm. You have a void with Tyron Smith. Foots and Vach know how good and don't didn't forget how good Tyler Smith. I think it's we need to get it out to the masses just how good Tyler Smith was as a rookie that practiced at guard all year and was forced out to play left tackle because Tyron Smith turned the wrong way and, and, his, back and, and his back went out. So I just I, that that was my premise. Now that's that's where I got forcing the tackle from because. You know, Latham, right tackle only. Amarius Mims, eight games of right tackle only. Tyler Guyton, who you are okay on, you you know how you feel about Guyton. I don't like Tyler. Tell the truth. Okay. And so like you're owning that. He's your left tackle. But I'm like you. I have, you know, verse and Latu. And, I mean, I've ta- I, I can really make a case for Cooper DeGene on this team if he falls. Nobody's talked about that. Nobody's talked about safety, corner, flex. And a guy that athletic. Nobody's talked about a corner falling to the Cowboys. These are sneaky needs. We have have we talked about Edge Vach? Uh huh. Oh, on your show we talked about that. we talked about Cooper DeGene and Edge on your show. Where you been? Wake up. But my but my <laughs> point is so <laughs> but my point is I want to get I want to get people locked unlocked off of yeah, tackle. All right, so let's talk interior. To your point, though, to your point, though, because I do agree, right? We just mm-hmm. can't walk into this thing going Jackson Power Johnson or bust. There, 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 there may be a situation that'll be beneficial to us uh, by the best player available being an absolute stud somewhere that we haven't banked on. But it's my only problem with that, though, for us, if our free agency addressed that idea that we need to fill this roster out prior to draft, then I feel right. good about that. We ain't do that. You know what I'm saying? So now we're not just walking in the draft clear. Like we actually have needs now. See, ho- but see, I don't. Say, I can't say that we didn't do that because you still have seven all pros on your on your roster, Vach. You, if Vach. we are team building, that's cool. But we're trying to be San Francisco, uh, Philly track. We trying to uh, be Detroit when we run into them. 
We trying to beat I'm, now. I'm, now I'm, I got to push back. Vice I'm trying to beat the hell out of Green Bay. I don't want to just sit on my hands when they not. That's all I'm saying. You, you didn't. You didn't watch the interview because, and I feel you because you ain't gonna watch nothing. Mike McCarthy say, but Mike giving y'all the answers. We got 335 people here. Thanks everybody for being in here. Go watch the interview. Mike is saying, "Till I die, I'm gonna die on this development sword." So he gave a list of players. Year two players and Luke was one of those players and 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 all the linemen, including Hoffman, who JC broke down and did a film session on. I get so I and listen, I the film session and Hoffman is cool, but if you can upgrade it, I think that they're going to go interior. I think that okay, let's ask this question because you're right, JC Hoffman can play, he's cool. TJ Bass can play, he's cool. But I think and Foots thinks that you have a better shot of plugging in a Christian Haynes, a mahogany next to Tyler Smith, uh, a Grant Barton in a trade back situation. Grant Barton played a lot of good football, Vach. I watched some reps against him and Jared Verse. I'm like, wait a minute. Him and when they played Florida State, and it, uh, you so you start talking about who's the kid, Braden Fisk, that everybody's on right now? Go watch him and Fisk. When they're trying to do those stunts and he's picking it up and sitting, I mean, you you got Bar you got Barton down. We've been on Barton, yes, sir. You have a better chance of playing clean football day one, plugging Barton in at guard than you do with one of these tackles who's a lesser player because you might not get Tyler Smith lucky every time. Me and you like Tyler Smith. The fan base hated Tyler Smith when he was drafted. So let me ask you this, Foots. Talk to me. And of course, this question is, is going to be different for guards, right? But where does the line stop for you in terms of your tackle stacking, right? Where does the line stack where does the line stop for you for the dudes that can play day one? Day that's one the, dude. That's the question. Day one. I was out the BYU tackle, Vach Kingsley. I don't even fart with his name. And look, this, I don't even think King Sua Mateo. I don't even think whoa, whoa, I don't whoa, even, what's, what's his name? Vach? So I'm gonna tell you, I don't even think Kingsley starting day one for me. What you don't like don't his athleticism? Think, he's he athletic as hell. He athletic as hell. he can test really well, but yeah. does he play offensive line as as well as he tests? That's that's the difference for us. Yeah. Let me tell you something, man. And that's gonna be the big problem. And that's why I'm I'm so big on. Hey, let's just look at offensive tackle, right? Because one, start? this tackle class bigger than than most tackle classes and i feel like this class stretches i feel like jordan morgan is a true left tackle plus mm -hmm. kieran i'm a now 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 this this i, this, I already know this, you, you, just say just say know. yell just say yell just say yell i'm a guy <laughs> i'm a guy i'm a guy i'm a i'm a diligent look he, I, I don't, I don't want him starting foot. I don't want him. Okay. I like his film though, Vosh, but I'm with you. It's Yale. Foot. I like, it's Yale I like his film versus the Holy Cross kids, man. Yeah, Who we line up fan. against week one? Baltimore or something? Fan. What do we got line up against Baltimore week one? It's what Yale. What do we get? Yale what do we get to Houston Texans week one? To Neil Hunter get to go against uh Kieran I'm a Will one. Anderson, yeah, and he different. just played the Holy Cross kids. Man, we getting killed. So I don't think Kingsley not not day one for me, Kieran. Blake Fisher, Patrick Paul ain't good, so I don't even know why he even in the top of PFF list like this. Uh, Pony's a good athlete, but I'm not not year one. You know what I'm saying? So I stop at man, Fuss, Can I just keep it a buck with you? Keep it a buck, Vox. I don't even think done. Tyler Guyton start day one. Yeah, my list stops at Jordan Morgan up. So that's Jordan Morgan, our Marius Mims. J.C. Latham, Troy, Talisi, Olu, and Joe. Oh, those are my thoughts. I, I, I would say that's fair. Those now I got, I, I got a, a chat box. I understand this when y'all see me and Vach talking because, hey, hey, Blake, I, I, I get you, but you gotta understand, me and Vach, we also have seen a tackle come in and play with great strength. So we're giving, we're just giving scenarios. So I, I get you, Blake Gary, but I understand that. You know. One of the one of you, I'm glad you brought this up. Let's talk about it. Fuss doesn't understand the strength jump. Uh, yes, I do. And I understand also what Vach is trying to paint. Some of these guys have the traits, but when you play that yell, it's different. Tyler Smith had one issue at Tulsa. His hand. It was his hand, it was his hand placement. His hand. Understand this, Blake. When you come in at Fuss, you better know who you're coming at. Cause guess what? I knew that Tyler Smith was going to transfer to Alabama if he didn't come out in the draft. Sure. That dude, when it comes to strength, he had no issues with strength. You gotta like JC Latham, he has no issues with strength. Trust and believe that. You watch JC Latham's film, he doesn't have issues. The problem with Latham is 
he's a right tackle only. And he's 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 actually spoken on that if anything, he would kick inside to guard. So that's where you start losing some of these guys that you may or may not want. Morgan, um, 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 Rome, Morgan is tricky for me. Vosh loves him. I, I like Morgan, I don't love Morgan, and that's okay. Now, this is where to me, Vosh, I want to play a game of would you now I'm not even gonna call it would you rather. Uh, Cause that's, we, that's somebody else's segment. I want to call if he's there, what do you do? Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And everybody can, can jump in on this. Okay. Vach, Tyler Guyton, lie to lie to. You asking me? I'm asking Vach Lombardi and I'm asking chat box. Tyler, uh, uh, lie to is my edge one. I don't like Tyler Guyton. That's, that's easy. <laughs> that's, that's, that's easy money for the camp. I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking a lot too easy. And look, I love offensive linemen. Give me offensive linemen, but I'm I'm taking I'm taking a lot too. Okay. Sure. I got you. Jordan Morgan, Grant Barton. Let's give chat box a little time to answer too, Vach. It'll so suck both. It'll suck, but I think Grant Barton is a is a better player than than Jordan Morgan. So that why means, will it I'm, suck, Vach? No, 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 no. I'm not letting you get away with that. I'm not letting you get away with that. Because, because Tyler Smith, in my mind, like if I'm the offensive line coach, Tyler Smith is my guard. Tyler Smith can play tackle, but he's my guard. But so, you just told me how good he was, Vach. I got to push back on you. Okay, uh, I'll say it again. Tyler Smith is better than, is better at tackle than any tackle in this draft. Tyler Smith is better at guard than any guard. In <laughs> if you teach Tyler how to play center, he'd be better I can't than get him, every center is damn clear. <laughs> you lucky he can't play corner, goddamn. You lucky. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. Let's let's go. Let's let's do this. Let's do this, Bosh. Okay. Now I got I got a fun one for you. Now I don't know if this could happen, but we throwing out everything so we can come back to this show. Pull this film real fast. So I can just make a make a real fast, just real fast <laughs> point to you right down there. Put pull that film up. I got you, sir. I got you, sir. Hey, yo, Fuzz, this your left tackle of the future versus my 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 favorite uh, edge one right here. This is my my cowboy Ooh, left look tackle at that reach. of the future. This is my cow my short arm left tackle cowboy of the future versus edge one right now. You so, bro, watch. You know mm -hmm. what's crazy about watching all twenty two on yes, film? His arms look long, bro. That's well, wild. Well, Fuzz, they're only uh in. Uh, like a half inch shorter than 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 league average. He almost got got right there. The, the, I mean, he's uh, he's he's uh, he's one inch shorter than than what you would got than what inside, you would. Call but the him. play was going somewhere different. They got him inside. But yeah. um, hey, look, foot. We show all the film. We don't just you know what I'm saying. But um, I got you, Fuzzy King. Let me let me pull up Morgan's numbers real fast. Let me, let me, let me. Yeah, no, 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 no. I was I was make I was making your point that he still looks like a tackle even with short arms. Jordan Morgan got thirty two and seven eighths inch arms and 33 is considered league ready or whatever so i think anybody that's making qualms about his arms i just think that that they're looking for a reason to put him at guard like he don't have arm deficiency plus it's my whole thing though fussy king because i'm old line guy i'm an old line advocate right mm -hmm. the only reason you would need short arms is to deal with long arm dns well to mitigate that you know, well, Vash, what if it's a short arm offensive lineman versus long arm DN? Well, there are techniques you can use to make DN's arm shorter. He knows how to do that. If you a long arm ass tackle like Patrick Paul, it don't matter what the DN's arm arm length is if you don't have a black belt in your arm length. Jordan Morgan got a black belt in his arm length. He know how to attack elbows. He know how to grab wrists. He know how to swipe and snatch. He knows how to get hands on you first. He knows how to fake how to faint and bait and to get your hands down. And then next thing you know, his hands are on you. He 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 can get a little leany like that, but his balance doesn't take a hit. So, yeah, man, he's, he's shorter on, but what if he's winning? Fussy King, perfect example, Rashawn Slater, right? I was a right. huge advocate for Rashawn Slater, but I was like, hey, you can talk all this short arm stuff if you want to, but in his draft profile, it says, I whoop Chase Young. I don't care yeah. nothing about your arm length if your if your if your profile says I whoop Chase Young. He whooped Leatu Latu. I don't care nothing about your draft profile. Nothing about it. I'm taking Jordan Moore. Yeah, the film. The film. Now, you got to go back to the film. Now, Fuss, I'm not crazy. I'm taking Byron Murphy over over Jordan Morgan. I'm taking. Um, oh no 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 no! I'm not letting you. No 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 no. Graham no, no, Barton no, no. over Jordan. No 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 no. no, no. We gonna play. We gonna do some more. We gonna do okay, some more. Okay, go ahead. Because we we gonna this this. I want. I really want to do this because I want to prepare. Because it happens every year. Vox, you look up and you like, how is he still on the board? 
every single year. How long we've been doing this, Vosh? Wasn't they still on the board? There's no way. Such and Vosh, I'm hearing that the league isn't as high on Jackson Powers Johnson as everybody. This could just be smoke screen, mm -hmm. but I'm hearing that the league is, isn't as high on Jackson Powers Johnson as everybody else. Sure. Jackson Powers Johnson, that doesn't mean that we aren't. Right. Lie to, lie to. Um, this is where I believe in politics and foot. Okay. Because I, I think you jump in chat box. I think you can use both. Mm -hmm. Center is an emergency, though. You know what I'm saying? Like center is a grave emergency. Um, so because I feel like you would need Jackson Pop. Yeah, but then again, for us, I don't know, man, because Dorrance and uh, what's the name just dipped, and we don't know how much pass rush Mike is gonna play. So you might need them both equally. Uh, but the offensive coach in me and the O line dude in me, I'm I'm taking Jackson Powers, but I think Leato a better player though. Okay, you 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 knocking out the park, Vash. Dang. All right, we got two in a trade back situation, Vash. Then I mm -hmm. then we then I ain't gonna put you on no more spots. And by the way, me and Vash just do this. We this just this is our phone it's conversation funny, for y'all, man. It's funny. It's funny. Dallas Cowboys trade back. They pick up an extra third round pick. We go back to 31 to Kansas City. Kansas City comes up, gets a receiver. The fan base is pissed. Chop Robinson. <laughs> Whoever else on the other side. <laughs> Whoever the other one. What's your, what's your deal with Chop? Chop don't know Chop don't know how to he don't know how to play football just yet. Chop Chop is a is a Do you see the traits? I see the traits. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm I see the okay. traits. But okay. the foots. So and this happens I, I, every I year. Like I mean, I, I love, I love Vox. I personally Foot. like Chop. This happens every single year, man. Our guy last year from Northwestern, um, out of Tommy Way or the Wabare from Northwestern. <laughs> you remember him? Uh, the, yeah. The the three tech from Northwestern. So he was a super athlete, man. But I just don't believe in these super athlete dudes that don't know how to play football. Chop is a notorious run down the middle you got, and he might be the fastest person on film. I think he could. I think he could play regular linebacker, but he mm -hmm. can't. You want to know why? Because he don't know how to play football. He don't know what the hell going on in front of him. He you, just you runs. know what? And I'm probably and I'll be honest. I'm biased. He's from my area. I I love Chop. You know what I'm saying? He he played football in in, in the DMV. So okay, okay. Let's take Chop off. Okay. Still trade back situation. Now, again, nobody in this chat likes Mike McCarthy. Fuss loves Mike McCarthy. I'm gonna stay out on that. And I and I love Vachi. I love Vacho, but I still love Mike McCarthy too. I like Big Mike. And that's okay. Foots is going to be on that island. Now, we said, and one of the issues that I get on people about with, on Twitter, and this is what I have to explain to people, when you watch your team trot out four baby linemen with a 205-pound safety versus goal line sets, right? Goal line sets, Vach. So 13 personnel, you know, three tight ends, whatever they can. That's a goal line set to me. Sure. I coach. This is this is this is a big guy. This is a they're running the ball. And mm -hmm. you're playing with four down linemen. You're playing an even front. And you're just saying, we're gonna spill. And we got these wide nines. And you're that's to me, that's not good football. But okay. And you're playing against that Shanahan scheme. And Mike did take a shot. He did take a shot at Dan Quinn today. Mm. How we, how, yeah, he did. That's why I really want everybody. He took a shot at Dan Quinn with how we were trying to stop the run, but we're not aligning correctly. That's a shot to me because, and maybe he should have did something about it, but you let Dan Quinn just sink the ship. But anyway, that's just facts. Hey, that's facts. Man, that's just real talk. That's just, that's just fact. That well, failed us. Go ahead. Do you like Johnny Newton, Rox? Yeah, man. Um, I'm, you ask ten different people about Johnny Newton, you get ten different answers. I'm going to continue to call him Jerzon because I'm not a big fan of all these people changing their name. Um, after I've known them a certain way, like if you've introduced, all right, Jason Oway, nice to meet you, but now you change your name to Adafi. Adafi. I'm, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change your name. <laughs> I'm going to go how I was introduced to you. So Jerzon, Foots. Um, but it's interesting though because I don't know how he how he started falling like this. Um, I know Jerzon was a guy that was like the injury. Uh, he hurt. <laughs> no, nah, he had so he. That's why he hasn't tested at all. Okay, well, he was he was like a top ten consideration guy. Like he has the athleticism, the burst, mm -hmm. the the um um, and he's, and he's uh, huge. The get off. He's, he's like two two nine two ninety something. No, no, no. He like three oh eight. He's a he's a three oh eight guy. He's um, bigger. Yeah. 
great hands, powerful hands. So I started seeing him go from on the, you know, the mock drafts, people's top 100 or whatever. I seen him go from top 10 to he's in the 30s and 40s now. So I don't know what the hell is going on with him. But if I can get him, considering medicals checking out and all that, hell yeah, give me an upfield. Give me, because look, think about this, Foots. Think about who Osa is now. Osa wasn't this dude at UCLA. Yeah. UCLA also was more of a heavier to well, he was 280, but he was doing like zero one tech stuff, right? But then Osa turned into an upfield bursty dude. Mm-hmm. Jerzon is like natural Osa. He's he's mm-hmm. natural now, Osa. He's naturally an upfield bursty guy. Um, so hell, you could take that template and add some some weight, add some weight room, some peanut butter to it, and you'll you'll probably get a get a better product than what you got with Osa. But yeah, I like Newton a lot. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm just, so I want to give you a trade back scenario with maybe him because I, I, for some reason I just think you'll look up and you'll say, "Man," because I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I wouldn't mind Dallas correcting their sin, and I don't. I'm not. I, I still say, believe so in my. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I, I'm so me. sorry. Uh, so Jerzon Newton, six one three zero four. Is that too small for you? Is he six one? Not the way he plays mm-hmm. for me. I see. Point. I see. I see more get off than Mozzie. But also, I wanted Mozzie to play how he played at Michigan. Mozzie two gap to Michigan. Mm-hmm. That's why I started to get nervous. This was when you really listen. All my all my real film watchers in here, and really when you do these deep dives, when you really listen, when the when the when the when the upper echelons and Dan Quinn start talking about, and that's another shot that Mike McCarthy took at Quinn. When they start talking about Mozzie has pass rush, but oh whoa 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 wait a minute, why do we want Mozzie Smith pass rushing? Mm-hmm. I'm not mad at doubling down. There you go. Yeah. Jerzon Newton. Go ahead. I'm listening to you though, Fitz. So, I, you know, with me, with, with, with Newton, I'm not mad at overcorrecting or going back to the well at D tackle in a trade back situation. If you're getting another pick, because trust and believe the Cowboys are going to draft another D tackle mm-hmm. in this draft. Oh, yeah. at some point. Where? I don't know if they like the Miami kid. I don't know if they like Mason Smith from LSU, who I like, but I don't like him in the middle of my defense. I like him more as like a five tech, uh, just just punishing tackles. And, 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 and But the point is Mike Zimmer and Mike McCarthy are going to have a real plan to stop the run. Mm-hmm. Mike has always had – Zimmer has always had like two big guys in the middle of his defenses. Yes, sir. This is no longer – Dan Quinn fly up field and get sacks. Yeah. We've broken all the sack records. That's fair. That's fair. I expect the defense to pause to to get bigger as, as quick as possible. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't play pause. I'm from Mississippi. We don't even do that. So I, I but I just know you from DMV and that's y'all thing. But uh but we're gonna get more size up front quicker. You know what I'm saying? Like we're a really small team, dog. Like, like, or as yeah, a small bro. defense, actually. Uh so if you're looking for size at one tech or whatever, it may benefit you to wait till later. Uh, yeah. You was talking about the LSU kid. You say Wingo or or Mason? Which one you like? I like Mason. I know there's people who don't like Mason. I like Mason, I, but I don't like him in the middle of my defense. I like because they use him as a five. They use him as a one. Like he literally played, but he just didn't pass rush. Now I think I think Wingo is the guy that can play. Five. I've heard a lot about him. I haven't even watched him yet. Man, Wingo, Wingo, two eighty five. So you know what I'm saying. That's, so that might be why. That go back, to, that go back to. But Mason has comparable athleticism. Play right next to him, comparable athleticism. But he's at least three away. So hey, you know, Mason may be a guy that you know you look at down the line or whatever. But as 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 far as as far as uh, other um you know bigger one tech guys, I mean, if you want to look at Jordan Jefferson as a one tech guy. Sure, I'm not a fan of the um Miami kid. What's my man Leonard? Uh. I like Leonard, Leonard Taylor. I like Leonard Taylor. I begin, Leonard, but he's Leonard, little. Leonard, he's he little. Ain't good. He ain't good. That's the problem with Leonard Taylor. He ain't good for us. Um, what about what about Jackson from Texas A&M? You like him? McKinley Jackson. Mike Jackson. Yeah. He big. He big. He big dude. Who too? <laughs> yeah. He, I, I. You know. I gotta really. I gotta take. I like probably watch like one game. Um, mm-hmm. So I probably need to watch the right film. You know. He at the time now. About my eyes are burning. Yeah, watching man. film and I'd be falling asleep sometime man. trying to look for certain things to pop off tape. Um, I'm gonna tell you a sneaky need and a sneaky player that if 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 and I want you well, well let's end it on this right here, Vach. Okay. What's the one position in need that nobody's talking about right now that the Cowboys could shock us off? I'm not hearing nobody talk about safety. I'm not hearing nobody talk about corner. 
I'm glad we both talk secondary. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, we don't know what what Zimmer's safeties are are gonna look like. Uh, mm-hmm. J. Ron probably gonna be a watch football wizard in no time. He he probably already gone. I don't know, but um, can Don like can Donovan be a too high safety for you? And if not, can Marquise Bell be a too high safety for you? Both those dudes scream box safety slash linebacker guy. Um, because they're guys that Dan Quinn wanted to play in the box like like linebacker. So they could do box stuff really well. Um, no pause. So but 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 can they play deep strong is what we don't know. Malik is fine at free, but that's a Dan Quinn dude. You know what I'm saying? He he ain't guaranteed to come back. We don't know when his contract is up. So hell, both safeties can be looked at. But in terms of corner, I was watching this uh clip from Steven, and Steven was all like Hey man, we wish him well and shit like bro. Yeah, uh, with, with, uh, with bro I'm like, damn dog, that's it. It's over. <laughs> just, 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 we signed J. Lou, but I don't know what Diggs is gonna look like coming off his injury. And Bland proved to you at the end of the season that he needs somebody to take over if wide receiver one gets crazy. That's what Gilmore was. Gilmore was your cornerback one versus wide receiver one last year. And Bland did much better versus versus cornerback twos. And if Jay Lou is going to be your guy coming back, that means you know Deron Bland's not going back to nickel. So if I had to pick, I would have rather have, have, have brought back Gilmore because at least I know Gilmore can, can take number one receivers away, and at least I know that Bland is super comfortable in the nickel. I know that for sure. Um, so we just got to hope Trey healthy. That's it. I, I got a name for you in the second round who could come out of nowhere and shock everybody. Um, and that's Kyrie Jackson from Oregon. Okay. Um, four or five guy. He, um, not the fastest, but competitive at the catch point. Old school corner. Um, extra, I'm I'm out on Wake Rake Straw. I love so corner to me in this draft is very you top. Out heavy. on Rake Straw. He 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 he's too aggressive, Bosh. You like the Oregon um, kid, but you out on Rake Straw. I'm out on Rake Straw, bro. I like T.J. Tampa. Um, love you Cooper like T.J. Tampa, but you out on Rake Straw. I'm out on Rake Straw. This is how you know we ain't talked enough. And I love Kyrie Jackson because I, I I like see the pro the thing I love about Kyrie Jackson is the schemes that he's played against. All those passing schemes, all the patterns that he's seen, physical, um, you know, transferred in. He, I mean, he he's really good. That's just me, Vox. You know what I'm saying? Um, you you we allowed to fight and disagree. You I put, ain't mad. You, I ain't, you know I, I made. Hold on, wait, Vox. You know I made my bones. Uh, uh, in this draft game, covering DBs and covering safeties, so yeah, I ain't we no slouch neither. Now. I ain't no slouch <laughs> in this game. I'm gonna go ahead. And, you know, you know, I'm old line guy, but Look, hey, here you go. He ready. He got. He got clips for me. Don't get this. What's the key? Now, listen. You ain't gotta love Rake Straw, but 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 aren't you a aren't you a aren't you a coach that that champions physicality and that champions scheme versatility that can play he, inside he and outside? Up, can, bro. He's pressing the up. shit out of everybody for the game. You know, you know what scares me about Reggie Straw is that coming down Mike, the run, making tackles. Mm. Mike, 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 Mike likes to play zone. Like that's how he gets those Shanahan guys. So I just didn't see enough of that on his film. Like I didn't see him spot drop. I didn't see him playing off man. man so he, is, he, is, he is. He is taking these children away. I'm with He's, you. And he long armed them. He he. I mean, listen. I think he'll go before the Cowboys pick in the second round. He he's 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 one of those top heavy corners. I'm just saying, for me, Kyrie. If that kid, I'm telling you, Kyrie Jack, and, and he has the length. That's another thing. You know who Regisar plays like? Mm. The kid that um uh Witherspoon. And 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 we played him last. Year. He plays just like Devin Witherspoon. That's a damn good draft pick, man. I'm with you. I'm it's with you. But you know what? Guess what? Witherspoon got in trouble this year with Seattle a few times with with with, with passing friends and in the young corners I get it so I wouldn't be mad at Reggie Straw but Kyrie Jackson is my guy and, I think and Kyrie I, I mean he's more of a third round guy for me Kyrie's more of a third round guy I me. got a two on him and that's and that's the beautiful thing of it because again corner is like you said with tackle in this class because it's top heavy but then it starts to taper off. If you got a third on a bot, you probably if you want him to help you year one, you probably have to draft him in the second round. So, but I, I the main thing that I want to talk about today, and I'm glad that we were able to cover so much ground. Vach was the the early 24 and really pick 56 guard tackle combo. What do we want to do? Let me get to these super chats real quick, Vach. Um, cool. JC man, thank you so much. Thank you so much. 
They have faith in Hoffman and Bass to not go BPA. If they go O line, I like Haynes or Frazier. Can you talk about that? Talk about those two because I love Christian Haynes. How do you feel about Frazier? I haven't got your thoughts on Frazier Fox. Um, so Christian Haynes from UConn. I saw him at the um, he's a thug. So I'm at the senior bowl. When it when when he took it, when that kid took his helmet off, Uh and matter of fact, that was a who was just talking about the kid from LSU. When he took Haynes' helmet off, Haynes laughed at him. He's a thug. Yeah, I need um, thugs. There's a handful of offensive linemen that 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 got my attention, and Haynes was one of them. Solid anchor, uh, heavy dude. He knows how to lean on people. I like players that know how to lean on people. You may be missing a little athleticism with him compared to the other dudes snapping the football, playing athlete, I mean, playing playing um center or whatever. But as far as uh like a dude that can line up and anchor and move dudes, I like him. Um, but the thing about Zach Frazier is he's not quite the opposite or whatever, because he can get, you know, he can get his, get his movement also. But Zach is, is more of the athlete at center. Uh, Zach is more of the athlete. Zach can do all the reach blocking, all of the, all of the um, second level blocking screens and things like that. So if, if it's up to me be, between which two players I like, I like Zach more. I'm not one of these people that's that like Zach up there at 24 with the rest of them. Like, you know, yeah. Everybody's not a twenty-four conversation for me, but if you can get Zach Frazier in the second round, you 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 going to Golden Corral. But this is my whole this is my whole thing about offensive line in the second round, and why I think if you can go early, because think about what comes into play in the second round. Because we got a draft politic, right? Running backs come into play on they day do. two. Linebackers come into play on day two, and that and that deep ass wide receiver clay is coming to play on day two. So I love Haynes and Frazier, but if I got to live with TJ Bass to get Malachi Corley in the second, I'll act like Haynes and Frazier ain't even there. I act like Haynes and Frazier ain't even there for us because I'm trying to get my running back and I'm trying to get my wide receiver in the second in the second day. So, you know, if I'm if I'm going guard, I, I would like to go. I would like to go guard first, guard or tackle first. OK, OK. And I, I think you answered that question. Great, Vox. Um, let's do this. Malachi for what, what, what you think about Malachi <laughs> oh, Humor oh. me on Malachi Corley, dog, because I'm sick I, of all these people. Go ahead. They don't like Malachi Corley? Man, it, it ain't that they it ain't that they don't like Malachi Corley, but it's just that people think that uh, uh, Jalen. Um, Polk? Tobert. They just think Tobert is just, hey, we're just going to bank on Tobert just walking right oh, no, in no, no, and just no, being no. ready at wide receiver. Oh, I'm not no. banking on, on Jalen Tobert. And I think there are three rounds worth of wide receivers that walk in better than Jalen Tobert day one. The day they come in, the day they come. So I'll tell you about Malachi Corley real quick before we get to this last super chat. I actually did a quick on him. Malachi Corley is Steve Smith on steroids. But mm-hmm. the thing is, you have to deploy the right plan for him. Yes, sir. I, and 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 that's okay. Like, hey, guess what? People in the chat box have children. You know what children you could tell to take the trash out, and you know what children you could tell to walk the dog. You know what children? Hey, I could talk to you like this, and you know what you get your ass. So I'm the, if I gotta tell you one more time, I'm gonna beat the hell out of you. You know the difference. I'm not saying all right in the chat box do that, but you know the difference. You know the difference in your children, dog. <laughs> When you draft Malachi Corley, I don't want to see him running a post. (laughs) I don't want to see him running a dig. Uh I want the ball to him within a five-yard radius. Out, come back, give him the ball, let him be a running back, let him be a guy in space. Make these corners tackle him. Now, 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 Fuzz, let me ask you this because I know you ain't you didn't you didn't sign up for none of this. I just imposed Malachi Corley on you, sir. Let me just ask you. We're talking draft. Do you think Malachi Corley can be a two for one for you, right? Like, like, okay, we in day two. I watched this Auburn game. That was a game I watched. It was good, uh, Stood. good uh, competition. Yeah. Stood. Um, so uh day two, right? We're looking at wide receiver, we're looking at running back. Can Malachi Corley be a guy that can fill up both of those spots in like one dude for you? Uh with McCarthy, yes. I actually think McCarthy, if you know what you're doing, I think he would come in and take Turpin's role. I don't think Turpin knows the scheme. Mm. Um, just being honest. So, yes, I do. You, you know, he talked about it again today, but you guys hate Mike McCarthy, so you didn't watch the interview. He talked about how he loves using C.D. Lamb in the backfield. Why? Because C.D. Lamb knows the scheme. He knows what's being asked. I think that we would use Turpin more in that way, but I don't think that he knows what's being asked. You get 
uh, uh, Corley on the whiteboard, every time you watch him interview, you could tell he knows what's going on. You could tell he knows ball. That's a hell of a play right there. That's how you got to get him the ball. Because I like, thought you said right now. I thought you said I thought you said Corley versus the white boy. Like what he do versus Cooper the G? Like when they play out. <laughs> but my fault. Fuzz, there were there were this was, uh, let, me, let me just let me just show you the very first play I seen from Malachi, right? Because just like you, I was like, all right, competition. What's he doing versus versus competition, right? And first of all, he's run all, all over the Ohio State kids, right? But Malachi Corley right here, and I'm like, dog, this is this is this summarizes him in one play, Fuzz. Get him the ball. Let him run these bubbles, these screens. Let him let him take the handoffs and just let him run over and through people. That's that's Malachi. So when you say, "Hey, can they use him properly?" Mm. This Ohio yeah, State, right. Fitz. <laughs> this Ohio State. So when they talk about use him properly, fire the coach that can't use this dude properly. And he ain't even Debo size. Like like Debo was was two twenty, two thirty or something yeah. coming out. Um, Leggett is more is more Debo size. This more. <laughs> I think, like, but but I think in like we got to reimagine the whole size thing. Pause. We got to reimagine. Um, like Tank Dell came and and played well year one, like mm -hmm. outstanding, and that's because they had a plan for Tank Dell. You have a quarterback that can get these guys the ball when it's schemed up. All eyes are going to be on Jake Ferguson and Ceedee Lamb. You mm -hmm. mean to tell me you don't have a page in your playbook for for Malachi Coley? And I think because he's not a receiver that you could just put on the outside, he won't be for everybody. Like people will look at this and say he's too small. He, but I think that Dallas will because he had there's interest there. If you follow the tea leaves, because he was a 30 visit, he is he there is there is interest. So yeah, I like Malachi Coley for sure. I think there's something to, and then we can move on to your um super splits. I think there's something to if the cowboys aren't talking about this position at all but they're having meetings on this person, I think that they covet wide receiver pretty high. Because, yeah. like you said, tea leaves, right? We, we we see them talking to these guys. We see them on the on the uh, combine visits and the unofficial visit. We see them at LSU. They not there looking at neighbors. They ain't looking at Jaden Daniels. You know what I'm saying? Brian, Brian Thomas might be there. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So I think I think you want to sum this, but go ahead to read your um, supers. Pardon me for just taking over your show, but I had to talk my Malachi court. But you still you taking over what show, man? We I'm you know we got through all the supers. I think somebody wanted to know, you know, thoughts on Mozzie year two if he's back to three thirty. Um, I I I I'll do it real quick because we got to an hour and we got four hundred thirty people in here, man. Can y'all hit the like button and share this? Shout out to everybody who came through, man. We really love y'all. Shout out to all the YouTubers in the channel. I mean, the chat. We love y'all. Frankly, uh. JC, Rome, everybody. If I miss somebody, Sadiq, everybody. Thank y'all. Okay. <sighs> Mozzie Smith, year two. I'll take this one because I'm I've been going hard for Mozzie. I'm going to. Mozzie year two. If so, I, I said this and I've been saying this. Love Dan Quinn, but it was time for us to stop doing yoga. It was time for Dan to stop meditating with these guys and trying to be the cool coach. And it was time for Dan Quinn to coach these guys. If uh, you, you may hear some things that hey, Mozzie's not made built for, or he's going through some well, then cool. We'll know this year because Zimmer's not gonna play that. He's gonna give him an assignment. It won't be flying up field. It'll be hey, on this rundown, your job is to stack, shed, and 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 hold up gaps. That's what they're gonna ask him to do early. They already said they're going to put weight back on Mozzie Smith. So that's been said. The only thing that bothers me is the shoulder deal. Will he be able to get stronger? Um, but it's not, that's not, I'm not paid to worry about that. I'm paid to say, I think that Mozzie can do it under a more structured football coach. We got to understand Jim Harbaugh is, a, he was able to turn Michigan around and have those guys playing good football because of the type of coach that he is. He doesn't leave anything to chance. Everybody say, oh, Jim Harbaugh ran the ball too much. I saw the Ohio State fan in the chat box. You knew that Harbaugh was running the ball, and he still ran the ball. That's what type of coach he coached gritty. With Quinn, it was like we'll give we'll, we'll give these guys crackers at practice, and we'll, we'll have tea, and we'll do yoga, and we'll talk in with all these metaphors. And it's like, hey, that's cool, but right now we getting punched on Quinn, and you have no answer. So I think that Zimmer will be the best thing for Mozzie Smith because we'll know right away either Mozzie's built for it or he's not. So. Long-winded answer, but man, for that super chat, that's what you get. 
Alex, the Eagles fan in the um, chat box, just said that Talisa Fuaga's name is um, pronounced as if there was a silent N in it. So there's so it's Fuanga. Let me tell you something. The boy named Fuaga. His name is Fuaga. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. That name. His name. Look, cause cause uh, y'all not finna hit me with the with the Tua. Like even Tua's name got a little N in there somewhere. That's not. Look, Talisi, the boy name is Fuaga. I don't care about the end that ain't there. I, I'm, I'm I'm sounding it out. That's time, <laughs> hey, man, Vach, you gave me an hour of your time. Vach, you back next week, right? Because the people miss you. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm back on, on my show next week. Hell yeah, I'm back on my show next week. <laughs> Oh, oh he got to the day of, and I'll see. But I'm, I'm, I'm back on my show April, uh, Friday with Broadus, and then April first we back with the regular show. Oh, we're gonna, um, we're gonna, um, bump up the volume of our, uh, of our uh, content here because we, you know, getting to work. Oh, in. You, you crazy out your mind if you think Vach ain't gonna be on this show next week? Well, listen, the month of the draft, I'm gonna be going. We we going dummy. We gave y'all a little bit of time. And I'm I'm still at two videos a week, but the month of the draft, we're really gonna take it up. And that's just because that's what we do. We want to cover everything. And even if it's for 30 minutes, I'm sure Vach will give me 30 minutes of his time. He was late this time, so he owed me anyway. It's false. Get out of here. I'll let you. V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D on all platforms, man. Vice Lamar. There you go. Bleach Report is blowing up, man. Catch me over there. Bleach Report said they want to hold me down a little bit more. They want to give us some more content over there. So uh you know shouts out to them bleach report is um you know supporting your local youtube content correct alex the eagles fan is in the chat box the the they are paying eagles dues too so shouts out to bleach report holding us down man salute gang gang. hey much love to y'all peace